morning pirates and welcome to day four of our cozy wrap sew along today we'll be adding the neckband which also counts as finishing the raw edge of the front it's a very very long neckband the measurements for the neckband are in the pattern and they're also pattern pieces they're different from each style of the neckband because the length of the um, cozy wrap varies and you will have two pieces you want to create a longer one out of the two. I went ahead and pressed both of them wrong sides together along the raw edge. It's easier when there are two pieces. So now with the right sides together I'm going to create an even longer one. I'm going to open it like so and stitch it with a half an inch single piece. So that will give me one very long neckband. This here, the stitch here, will be going on the back of uh, the neck. Let me put a clip so it's easy for me to find it. You want to go ahead and uh, enclose the raw edges, the, the two raw edges, like we did yesterday for the bottom band. So, I'm opening it up, pressing it right sides together and stitching with a half an inch seam allowance. And because we've pre-pressed it, when you open it, it looks like this and it's easy to open. That's one side. You want to repeat the same thing for the other side. So now your neckband will no longer have any raw edges. Flip it and there you have it. So now we're going to start pinning. So what you want to do is take your shirt or tunic or whatever and find the center back of the neckline and you want to pin where the, where the seam is, where you've attached the two, right here. Okay, so that's in the center. Now you want to go ahead and go towards the bottom edges because the front will have a one-to-one -one ratio. There will be no stretching. The only stretching we'll do is when we reach the shoulder seam. So for now, make sure that your neck band is not twisted in any way. Pin it one to one ratio to the side, to the, the center seam well, sorry, the centerish seam, the raw edges. No stretching anything. I'm just pinning it, pinning it in place. This is the only thing we'll be doing today, just finishing the neckband. Tomorrow we'll add the sleeves. I'll be doing the gathered sleeve. The pattern also includes an option for a short sleeve and one for a regular cuffed sleeve. Okay, so when I get to the shoulder, I'm pinning it in place. And now what I have left, I can stretch the neck, the neck band to fit the neck opening. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, start from the bottom of the front. Make sure that the neck band is not twisted and pin in place with a one-to-one -one ratio. The stretching around the neck line is minimal. That's why I use the same fabric. This fabric doesn't have the best recovery possible, 
like cotton lycra does but because of the uh, the way the pattern is drafted this works beautifully it doesn't need a ton of of uh, stretch and recovery and it's so soft so soft So I made it to the next one, to the um, shoulder seam, just stretching to fit the seam in the stretch there. So now you want to sew this with your serger or your sewing machine, following a half an inch seam allowance all around. Today, you'll be finishing your serger tails with your preferred um, serging method. Optionally, you can top stitch your seam allowance towards the shirt, and not optionally, you need to give it a good steam press. All right, that's it for today. Make sure you give it a good press. You take a picture of your finished uh, neckband and post it in the comments of day four photo of the Sew Along album. And I will see you back here tomorrow when we'll be adding the sleeves. And we're one step closer to finishing. Bye.